All right, this is Loomis Mountain Mint, and I'm about to show you how to tell that this is Loomis Mountain Mint. This is the new iNaturalist app. Um, we're gonna go to camera. You really wanna take a picture of the flowers. Oh dang, that was a, that was the, that's not how you do it. Loomis Mountain Mint, Pycnanthemum Loomis, Loomisii, which makes sense because I, that's exactly what I thought this was, was Loomis Mountain Mint. It looks a little different. The flowers are bigger than the Whiteleaf Mountain Mint, but it still has that Whiteleaf Mountain Mint look. So these Pycnanthemum species are really great for pollinators, probably top three species you can plant for pollinators they attract everything but the best way to tell a mint other than the way it looks is they have square stems it's a very strong uh, square stem and so this one's probably one of the showier mountain mints and uh this would be an excellent one this would be a really really great one to seed collect and bring home and even use in your landscaping because it's so showy um, but definitely one of my favorites this is what you need to be looking out for on roadside. So my old iNaturalist, iNat Classic, I've been using for forever. Um, it keeps crashing on me. So I'm pretty sure the new one is what they're pushing. So I probably needed to make the switch a long time ago, but you observe something. So for example, this tall yellow flower behind me over here, this is tall Coreopsis. So you can, it tells you about tall Coreopsis if you learn more about the species, but you can click on this map. It'll show you the whole range of tall Coreopsis where people see it. So it's got a pretty large range. If you find something that doesn't have a large range, that means it's probably rare or endemic, uh, only found in your area and it's a species of high conservation value. This is a great one. Tall Coreopsis is great because it's a prairie species and prairie species in general are a conservative species right now because prairies are hard to find. But uh, INAT, every observation you make is used for science and so Use iNaturalist for your plant ID app, and uh, you're gonna love it. There's also projects on here that are devoted to your area. But look up here. Look at all that hollow Joe pie weed. And look at all this tall Coreopsis mixed in. Chances are, this is a really high quality remnant. And if you get permission from this landowner, you can collect from right here in the right of way all you want. But you'd have to get permission from the landowner to go into this. All right, so chances are this is a really good remnant. That Joe Pie, see that single stalk? I collected seeds from one like that down at my pond. Grew them in, in my nursery, planted one in the front of my house. First year it had three stems. Second year it had, or second year it had three. Next year it had seven. The following year it had 19. Now it's like five or six years old. 33 of those flowers. And they're bigger than that, aren't they, Luke? Oh, they're huge. Yeah. They're giant. So that's a crazy good one. Yeah, yours is probably like 15 foot tall. Yeah. Here's another plant we can ID with uh, find that real quick. All right, let's get back. Very interesting looking one. I don't know this one. I might know it once it pops up. Lax horn pod, 90% confidence. Learn more about this plant. So this is how I learned my plants. I mean, before iNaturalist, I was going home and looking through books and online and stuff, but like iNaturalist now is such a fast way of figuring out what stuff is. It's got a, this range, let's look at this range map. It's very isolated to the Southeast. So it's been seen around here before. It hadn't been seen down near Hartsville my way, which explains why I haven't seen it. But save. And now that one's used for science. Lax horn pod. Worldwide. Although there's only 1,800 observations of this plant. It's pretty crazy. But now that's used for science. Now they'll forever know that this plant was grown here. All right. So this right here, narrow leaf sunflower. Look at this. Also swamp sunflower. Look how skinny those leaves are. 
and this will get huge and flower. It's a really showy one. That's a really great one. So, I mean, you stop because you see one wildflower on the side of the road. Chances are it's going to be a remnant, and you're going to see a lot of other great stuff. There's some uh, wild rise over there. Oh, here. This is downy, downy lobelia right here. This will flower blue. Another great one. So I should be documenting all these because now this is like a roadside remnant that I feel like people, you know, if it ever gets mowed or sprayed, uh, I would have wished that I had came through here and documented what was here before it was lost, you know. So look. Narrow leaf sunflower. It came up before I even took a picture. Save. All right, now, now look. Well, I got too many plant leaves in this photo. gonna give me a generic sunflowers downy lobelia so that's what the flowers look like look at that beautiful just like cardinal flower or great blue lobelia so save but look at this look narrow leaf sunflower pops up as you're looking at it so right here black eyed susans Now I put all these plants on to INAT and uh, this population has kind of been documented now for forever. I'm gonna take a bunch of photos of this hollow joe, hollow joe pie weed right here. I made a, a turkey call of hollow joe pie weed one time. Save. Blue mist flower. Flower popped up on the screen. This partridge pea is everywhere. You see partridge pea pretty often. So right here, look at this. This is gonna be a good one. This is American ground nut. I'm really liking this new iNaturalist app. So their new one seems to be a lot better than the old one. And I was a huge fan of the old one, so that's why I never switched. But dang, I should have made the switch a long time ago. Look, there's your downy labilia. Ooh, ooh hoo hoo. What do we have here? What do we have here? Rattle pod? I don't see rattle box up here a whole lot. It's just like uh, indigo shrub or a uh, wild wild indigo. Arrowhead rattle box. I don't know if this is one of the introduced ones. I don't see it often. The weevils just tend to get the seeds. Oh, look, no, no, I got them. Real glossy, very glossy, shiny seeds. All right, I think that, let me look. It's native to the Eastern US, yeah. I just don't see it much around my area. And we're about an hour from home maybe 45 minutes so that's how fast habitat can change but anyways y'all this is uh get out there use iNaturalist drive your back roads look for remnants like this and observe those remnants do your part as a citizen scientist and do your part for conservation get out there and sweat a little bit you know it's good for you sorry that's Richard Jeans saying go fishing because it's good for you but so I can't really steal that. But it is good for you to get up there and look for plants. And it's good for these places. Hey, you know what's exciting is when you find remnants like this one and nobody else has stopped to take photos of them before, it feels like you've accomplished something. It feels like you've discovered something nobody else has discovered. So get out there and find some remnants that nobody else has found. Put them on iNaturalist. This is not a paid ad. iNaturalist is free. I just want to make that clear. This is not paid. There's a a natural, it's one of the most natural uh, sites in Alabama over here. Let's go look at it. iNaturalist does not work on natural light. Um, so, uh, sometimes you see the state bush of Alabama, which is bush light on the side of the road. Uh, but look at the butter, dude. The pollinators crazy. on this Loomis Mountain Mint. Back to the Loomis Mountain Mint. Y'all, 
it's eye catching natives like this. They catch your eye, you pull over, and you end up discovering in a whole world of other not as showy natives or natives that aren't flowering right now. So stop, stop to see the wildflowers. You'll never regret it, I promise. Unless, unless something bad happens, but most of the time you won't regret it. I never do, so.